My topic is customer retention and detail explain and let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. <laughs> customer retention is a metric that measures customer loyalty, or the ability for an organization to keep its customers over time. In addition to identifying the number of loyal customers, customer retention can reflect or predict customer satisfaction, repurchase behavior customer engagement and emotional ties to a brand. While customer relationships typically begin with an initial interaction, customer retention metrics are related to the first purchase made by a customer and include all subsequent interactions. Once customer retention is measured, organizations can use this feedback to perform data analysis on components of customer experience and customer success. For example, if a drop in customer retention is reported, an organization can use this to help identify the root cause and adjust its product offerings. Customer retention is critical because the cost of acquiring new customers is much higher than retaining existing customers. Retained customers are also more likely to engage in word-of-mouth marketing or become brand ambassadors. Customer retention refers to the rate at which customers stay with a business in a given period of time. This is often referred to as churn rate and is a key metric for practically all B2B and B2C businesses. In general, the lower the churn, the more loyal the customers and more successful the business, as the business retains more customers over time. Customer retention is a measure of how many customers stay with your business for the long term. It's what demonstrates your business's ability to stimulate customers to make repeat purchases and spend more money on your products and services over time. What brings your users back to your product at a sustainable frequency? What value are they finding within your offerings that they can't get elsewhere? How would you retain a newly acquired set of users within the first week of usage? Product managers, marketers, and design teams need to be analytical and diligent about customer retention to keep their users coming back. Why? Because retaining customers boosts customer lifetime value (LTV), stabilizing product revenue in the long run. Building up customer retention takes time because you'll need to earn the trust of your customers, which is a long and non-linear process. Be patient and focus on developing strong relationships with your customers by consistently meeting and exceeding their needs. It's a given that products that provide a valuable customer experience are more likely to retain customers, so invest in creating amazing experiences for your customers, and never discount the value of delighting them at every stage of the buyer's journey. Use data to drive and optimize your client retention rates. Identify the key drivers for retention that are unique to your business, and democratize the first-party data you need to calculate retention metrics accurately. Customer Retention Definition Customer retention refers to a company's ability to turn customers into repeat buyers and prevent them from switching to a competitor. It indicates whether your product and the quality of your service please your existing customers. It's also the lifeblood of most subscription-based companies and service providers. Businesses work hard to attract customers through a mix of marketing, social media, and brand strategies. You've invested a lot of time and effort, and probably money, gaining your customers' trust. It only makes sense that you want to hold on to them. That's where a strong focus on customer retention comes in handy. To improve customer retention, you have to look at your entire customer experience. The customer experience involves everything customers think and feel when they encounter your brand. Customer-facing interactions, such as support ticket resolution or how a brand communicates its values, are a few factors that can affect a buyer's relationship with a brand. You'll keep more customers by creating a seamless experience that makes them happy every step of the way. However, if your business falls short of customer expectations, you risk losing those customers before you even have a chance to make things right. Customer retention strategies are the processes and initiatives businesses put in place to build customer loyalty and improve customer lifetime value. Customer retention is different from customer acquisition or lead generation. It focuses on customers who have already signed up for a service or purchased a product from you. But retaining customers is about more than just transactions, it's about relationships. 
Research shows that customers view their relationships with brands similarly to their relationships with friends. Customers like brands that are reliable, authentic, and aware of what matters to them. Focus on buyer relationships with your existing customers to boost their brand loyalty. These shoppers will continue to choose your brand even when presented with other options. With this loyal base, your brand will be more likely to weather volatile markets. Customer retention isn't a responsibility that falls on any single team to earn on behalf of the entire company. Customer service, sales, product, and marketing need to work together to build customer loyalty and prevent churn. For example, a customer support team can look at the top product pain points customers are reaching out about and share that information with product teams for potential product updates. Or, a marketing team might use customer service data to send an automatic apology email with a discount code after a customer complains about an order issue or delay. Customer retention refers to the activities and actions companies and organizations take to reduce the number of customer defections. The goal of customer retention programs is to help companies retain as many customers as possible, often through customer loyalty and brand loyalty initiatives. It is important to remember that customer retention begins with the first contact a customer has with a company and continues throughout the entire lifetime of the relationship. The customer retention definition in marketing is the process of engaging existing customers to continue buying products or services from your business. It's different from customer acquisition or lead generation because you've already converted the customer at least once. The best customer retention tactics enable you to form lasting relationships with consumers who will become loyal to your brand. They might even spread the word within their own circles of influence, which can turn them into brand ambassadors. But let's start at the beginning. You've sold a product or service to a consumer, so what next? That's when you build and implement customer retention strategies. Customer retention is a metric that businesses use to measure customer loyalty over time and gauge overall success. To boost customer retention, companies will implement various tactics to reduce the number of customers lost in a period and better their experiences to ensure that they remain loyal to the business. Customer retention is the ability of an organization to retain its existing customers. A higher attention rate shows how valuable your product or service is to your customers. For a subscription business, customer retention is a crucial factor. Let's face it, your business is built on recurring revenue and repeat customers. So, if you have your customer base canceling their subscriptions, pretty soon, your business will be on shaky ground. No, pouring in more money into customer acquisition is not a healthy sign for a subscription business you'll be spending five times more. Which is sure to take a toll on your bottom line. Plus, an investor will look more kindly on higher customer retention rate versus a higher spend on customer acquisition. Customer retention plays a crucial role in the success and lasting sustainability of a business. When done right, it can also increase a company's profits. The key to a high customer retention is to determine what's causing customers to leave and then employing strategies that will build a loyal group of buyers who will buy more often and make bigger purchases. By discovering what delights and motivates your most loyal customers, you can then attempt to replicate it. Customer retention is a business's ability to keep existing customers and continue to generate revenue from them. Companies use different tactics to convert first-time buyers into repeat shoppers. In other words, customer retention allows a business to increase the profitability of an existing customer and maximize their lifetime value (LTV). Think of customer retention as a process where a business aims to convince existing customers to keep purchasing their products or services. Since a customer has already made a purchase, it's different from lead generation, which is the effort involved in capturing contact information of businesses or individuals who are likely to buy a product or service. Instead, customer retention is focused on existing customers. The goal is to increase repeat purchase by building customer loyalty through excellent customer service, product value and a distinct advantage over similar products or services. Customer retention is vital in driving repeat purchases and ongoing value from your customer base. 1. 
Oft-cited rule of thumb is that it costs five times as much to acquire a new customer as it does to retain an existing customer. Two of the most important factors in improving customer retention is understanding your customer's satisfaction and loyal. Businesses also need to understand any operations that may turn off potential and existing customers, such as slow or poor customer service or a faulty product. Customer acquisition refers to the actions or processes designed to help a business gain new customer. This includes any efforts focused on finding new leads or turning prospects into paying customers. Customer retention, on the other hand, happens after you acquire the customer. Once they make a purchase, you're trying to build loyalty and drive repeat business. Customers tend to move on for a myriad of reasons, which can include poor customer service, too much friction in the buying process and a lack of perceived value. This is why it's a good idea to map out the customer journey to know where the leaks are. It's also a best practice to solicit customer feedback and incorporate it into the company's larger plans. The maturity of your business will determine whether you need to focus on customer retention. For instance, if your company just launched, you should focus on customer acquisition, as there are no existing clients to retain. The focal point at that stage should be developing strategies that will cultivate your initial customer base. That's because you're not getting any sales or customers, making it a moot point in trying to retain them. Tactics can include creating co-branded content, content produced by your business and a non-competitor, or creating a paid ad campaign. But it doesn't mean you can plant the seeds. Actions such as engaging with consumers and making the purchase process as frictionless as possible helps a business to gain traction. As this happens, there will be more data to look at what's working, perhaps start tactics such as retention email campaigns or surveys. That way your business is working towards encouraging existing and past customers to make additional purchases. Once you're more established, you can incorporate more customer retention tactics making it more of a priority than customer acquisition, as you start to generate more consistent sales. As your sales grow at a steady rate and you have a decent-sized customer base, you can shift more time and attention to your customer retention efforts. At this stage, things like loyalty or referral programs make sense, as you'll have a steady, and hopefully loyal, customer base to draw from. For many businesses, customer retention slash churn is a key KPI because a company's ability to retain existing customers is fundamental to both its short-term and long-term success. It is often much cheaper to retain existing customers than acquire new ones. Sales and marketing acquisition costs usually greatly outweigh costs related to customer service and ongoing customer satisfaction. Loyal customers tend to be repeat customers, meaning they're valuable. Increasing customer retention increases the chance that a customer will become a loyal, repeat customer and can massively increase profits. It is more effective for businesses to upsell or cross-sell to their customers as they already have a relationship built on trust and product satisfaction. Happy customers can often lead to gaining new customers through referrals. It's clear that customer retention should not only be an important metric, but a core goal of almost every business. So let's first look at how we can measure it before discussing different ways to improve it. One key reason for churn is that users simply do not understand how to get the most out of a product. During the onboarding process, a company should ensure that the client is aware of the key benefits that a product offers. One great way to do this is through training sessions that teach users about best practices and standardized workflows. Giving your customers the tools they need to succeed will maximize customer satisfaction and decrease churn over time. Be realistic when it comes to setting and delivering on customer expectations. What levels of success did comparable businesses achieve? Take the time to schedule a session to jointly map out a roadmap that your new client is comfortable with. The roadmap should include with realistic milestones and achievable goals. Key players such as the customer success team, should be able to easily access this customer roadmap and act on this. User feedback is absolutely essential when it comes to improving customer retention. This is relatively self-evident, as the way a client feels and perceives your brand ultimately determines whether they will become a loyal customer or jump ship. Businesses need to gather accurate feedback from their users. 
This can be accomplished through satisfaction surveys or a feedback bar on the website or platform where users can submit feedback while they are using the product. Customer experience mapping and customer journey mapping refer to the process of charting your customers' interactions with your brand across all touch points. The more you understand the different journeys customers take on route to purchasing, the more you can optimize their customer experience. Brands like Aston Martin were able to create a truly unique and highly personalized customer experience benefit from extreme customer loyalty and excellent retention rates. Social media is the channel of choice when it comes to immediate response. Clients expect immediate and personalized customer service and social media really lends itself well to this task. Social media is a great way to quickly resolve potential customer support issues or queries. What's more, it's also a great way to create a connected and unified customer experience. The way a business collects, groups and ultimately acts on data is vital to its success. Sales CRM software usually allows the segmentation of prospects and customers into groups based on how they interact with your brand. Businesses can use these insights to tailor marketing campaigns to the individual level of awareness of its customers and prospects. When it comes to retargeting efforts, email segmentation is the key to delivering the right content at the right time. A loyal existing customer does not want to receive offers for an initial purchase. Companies such as Perkbox have witnessed great success by using email nurturing campaigns based on segmented customer and prospect data. One way to increase retention is by ensuring customers are as active as possible. If a user has remained inactive for a while, an automated email through your CRM system can induce this user to take action. For example, if you are tracking how users interact with your product and notice that they have only used a small array of the feature, an email explaining how to use other features could reignite their interest. Emails could include educational content such as best practice guides or successful case studies from other customers. This strategy is best aimed at relatively inactive users. Users that are already comfortable and active with the product will not appreciate a barrage of automated emails. Upselling is a great way to boost customer retention amongst loyal customers. By convincing them of the need for a premium or upgraded service, they become more invested in your brand. Using existing content assets such as ebooks and white papers is a great way of reminding existing customers about all the features product offers while ensuring that they remain as active as possible. One strong argument for basing KPIs around customer satisfaction is that it makes it easier to identify customers that are likely to churn. Often, there are many warning signs before a user churns, including level of activity. If a user has not used the product for 30 days, a business should look into this and find out why. Some businesses use a traffic light system. Green signifies users that are happy with the product and very unlikely to churn. Amber is reserved for users that potentially have an open issue, but that this issue is not critical. Red is for users with a serious risk of churning. This could be due to a serious complaint leveled against the company, or simply that they have expressed that they are not satisfied. Efforts should be prioritized to keep the at-risk users from churning. A customer loyalty program is a great way of giving something back to customers while at the same time offering a chance to build a personal connection. Companies, like Belly are enjoying great success in providing retailers with a trackable loyalty points program and insightful analytics into customer behavior. A referral program can incentivize satisfied customers and increase customer loyalty. By offering upgrades, credits or other extras to existing clients, you can greatly increase the number of new signups while engaging your existing users at the same time. Actively turning your most loyal customers into brand ambassadors increases their emotional connection to your brand, and that boosts retention. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.